The Hole in the Wall, Black Horse Avenue. One of the main roads leading to and from Dublin City was called Black Horse Lane, or The Lane for short. The lane was covered with dust and stones, not tarmacadam like the roads we have today. This road is still here today and it is now called Black Horse Avenue. In medieval times, merchants, noblemen and servants of the king would travel along Black Horse Lane to get to the city of Dublin. They would ride on horses or travel in coaches. As this would take much longer than our kind of travel, many would stay overnight outside the city in an inn called Ye Sign of Ye Black Horse, which had been built on Black Horse Lane in the 1600s. Its name came from the fact that in those days, inn owners would hang up the picture of an animal, such as a horse, outside their pub, instead of a name, as only few people could read. This picture would give the inn its name. When roads were improved, people no longer needed to stay overnight at the inn, and the inn was changed into a tavern, a place where people could eat and drink. As the tavern was right beside the Phoenix Park, and there were many public speeches given in the park in the 1800s, it became a popular spot for a drink and a bite to eat. One of the speakers was Daniel O'Connell. In fact, Daniel O'Connell brewed the ale, which was sold in the Black Horse Tavern. When the British Army were staying at McKee Barracks in the Phoenix Park from 1891 to 1922, the soldiers would sometimes sneak off and go to the tavern for a pint of beer. The owner of the pub at that time, Levinus Doyle, served the men through a hole in the park wall, and this is why it is called the Hole in the Wall. The name was changed from Black Horse Tavern to the Hole in the Wall in 1970 by P.J. McCaffrey and his wife, Margaret. They wanted to remember the history of serving the army through a hole in the wall. Over the years, many extra bits were added, and many people believe that this is the longest pub in Ireland. <laughs>